Welcome back, Rosa Hart. Be advised, I will not have office hours this weekend due to being at the school's Halloween festival with the math club. So don't procrastinate. Wait, there's a Halloween fest? A student front row to raise his hand. Yes? Um, what Halloween festival? Oh, of course. For freshmen who aren't familiar with our school's tradition, there will be a Halloween festival in the main parking lot. Let's go. Each of the clubs is required to set up a booth there, so there will be a significant variety of activities for anyone interested. Admission is free for all students with a valid ID. I want to go. Her girl next to me whispers to her friend. Free admission? <laughs> Count me in. If there are no more questions, class is dismissed for the day. I gather up my books and head out the door. That Halloween fest does sound like fun. I bet Adam would like to go. Maybe I should ask him. Oh, yeah. Let's head to the mall. Ooh. 75, 90, 100, 80. Oh, my goodness. 55, 25. Uh, I don't have the money to get any of this. Oh, and they probably won't be selling anymore by the time. Oh, all right. Any questions for today? Yeah, am I still doing good? Mm, looks fine to me. You're on the right track. Thanks. What should I do for today? Uh, well, go. The school festival sounds like a fun. I'd rather not think of about tonight. Uh, I feel so bad. I don't have a Halloween costume. Well, guess we're going. Uh, knock alerts me to Adam's presence. Hurry up the doors and let him in. Woohoo! Candy! Aw, I'm jealous. I'm push his face in the air with his side and hollers. Like, you need more sugar. Who doesn't? I take a step back and mark his choice. <clears throat> Jeff is choice to attend uniform son. Jeff needs master soon, turn police force. He stressed his arm pose. Do I look cool? Yes, very. He looks at me formally. No costume? I don't have money. He seems disappointed. I didn't really feel like it. Yeah, no, I... Oh. Well, I guess whatever makes you comfortable. I didn't have the money! Adam, save me! So, shall we get going? Yes. I guess I have to work a lot. The two of us make our way down the staircase and pack a lot of things in our buildings. <sighs> I guess I'll work. A lot more. One of the festivals set up a bo bottom bobbing for apples tent. There's a special fin in the back tent following beer. The people that seem to have give up on the apple completely, but at least they're enjoying themselves. Um, uh, Halloween theme, card games, dressing booth, sides walk. I couldn't kind of students dress to match some costume stuff and stare at Adam. I'm jealous. Adam gives me a policy glare before he gates the other students. <laughs> I hate to disappoint you, but it's not really a ninja. Well, it's still cool. Hey, do you think we can get a picture together? Sure thing. I'm posed with the group and takes one of the strange pictures I ever seen. A busy of smiling zombies surrounding um, numbers. Helen Ghost Fingers. 
The group behind him cheapers well, and Abba returns to me. Oh, sorry about that. It's fine. It's okay, you did the right thing. Yeah, but I still feel lousy. I feel like we can't go anywhere together anymore. Oh, well, that's just... I'm grabs my shirt and drags me behind a tent. What's wrong? He ducks down pretty around the side of the tent for me. I just heard someone call my name. Again? I think they're coming this way. See? I told you it was Adam. Another group is stood around the corner lead by a college girl dressed in a skin tight suit lighted with glowing hands. Adam, hi! Oh, hey. Ernie greets them with an wave as they old friends. I feel a turn of N and how easy he can get along with a couple of strangers. The group members wore a matching tight clothing all fit with bright lights and other men mansion parison. Each had a letter on it, his and hers chest, and the end group spells out of appears to be burger related. What? I'm um, seems equally puzzled. With a little bit of effort, the members group on their self until they spell out the word Edgerglin Club. Oh, I get it. He sighs and scrubs a paper, ha handing it to him, one of the East member of the club. Another member stands up, and I see Adam mention told up the number of autographs he's about to sign. That might be a very long night. I try to be patient as Adam signs one after another, but it starts getting teared. i always happy to see his fans, but I feel like I'm getting put to the side there a show. It's not his fault. I know the fans are just really psyched, it's, but it's still frustrating. Adam finally finishes the last autograph, and I put a cheerful smile before he turns to face me. He takes my hand in his. Let's get going before we run into anyone else. He rushes the haunted house and dusts inside. You want to see the drama club that badly? No, it's just that it's dark enough in here that I don't think anyone will recognize me. Smart thinking. It's been known to happen. <sighs> yeah, check my mail. Reply. Sorry I couldn't make it. Reply, sorry I couldn't make it because I forgot. Uh, yeah. Alright, log out. Status. Oh. Sleep. Sometimes it's just nice to sleep all day. Yeah. Let's see. Alright, tutor. And then I need a lot of money, so. Go. It starts a new month. It's time to see the professor come for an update. Miss Good. I'm pleased to inform you that your grades are acceptable to keep your grant. Good work. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck in the upcoming month. Oh. Thank you, sir. I'm doing my best. I think I'm doing too well on my uh, knowledge things. Maybe I should do that instead. There's a, uh, end with a 4G. My power went up too. M nearly runs over me and attempts to exit my class. Whoa. He breaks it and teenagers on his toes for a split second before he realizes or gains his balance. Sean. Sean, 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 Sean. Uh, here. What's wrong? 
And points at the window. What? Really? I run around and throws my gaze outside the window. Sure enough, small flecks of white snow are flecking down from the sky. We run to the window and gaze at the tiny crystal floating towards the ground. I have. It's really pretty. Let's go outside. I'm dash out the door without me waiting for my answer. I find him outside trying to catch the snowflakes on his tongue. <laughs> this is fun. A few other students pass and giggle when they see Adam. Enjoying the first snow of the year? Pesterman approach a run smile on her face. Yes. Aww, Adam's a show. Adam freshens the ground and frowns at the sight of snowflakes melting away instantly. How come it's melting? See how sunny it still is? The ground isn't cold enough for the snow to remain frozen. Don't worry. In a few days, the weather will have ideal conditions for the snow to stick. Stick? When the snow stays frozen on the ground and begins to pile up, we say it's sticking. She chuckles. You two have never seen snow before, have you? I have. Not exactly a cone sight in Hawaii, honestly. We've seen volcanic ash in the air. Does that count? Well, enjoy this as much as you can. Some of the students from up north probably don't think anything of it. Why? This is the most amazing thing ever. And spins around with his arms. Outstretched. Just be careful. The roads can get dangerous once the snow begins to stick. Will do. Thank you, Professor. You too. Take care. I need a lot of money. Any questions for today? Yes. How am I doing? Mm, looks fine to me. You're on the right track. Thank you. Cut! And waves his, uh, through swing wires and cameras towards success. He offers a few question notes, but it's hard enough with what he's saying. And nods understand and learn beans. 20 Love says that Lloyd jumps up and down three times before he calls action. I jump a little at the sound of someone talking next to me. What? The air laughs and points at the duet. Lloyd's gonna start bouncing like a kid on sugar in Three, two, one. And gives Celeste a thumbs up, then launches in three hu small hubs, and he exits the set. I giggle. That'll be 20 bucks, please. I never agreed to that bet. Shame. I could have made a killing. The camera side at hand. Rachel. I stepped it, and she gives me a firm handshake. Sean, and how did you know he was going to do that? Lloyd starts jumping around when he gives directions to cast members he likes. And those he don't? A whole lot of pointing. So, you new here? Most of the crew already know each other from other shows, but I haven't seen you before. This is my first show. Oh, pleasure to meet you. You do good work. Oh, thank you. You do good work, too. Yeah, I know. Alright, quiet on the set. Rachel then turns back to the camera and faces into the rest of the crew. I seem to only get tired on this day. I feel terrible. I need to take a quick break. And then it resets. So maybe every Friday I should sleep. I'm gonna make that a habit. Oh, my status. 50 bucks. Uh, no messages. Uh, trash. Thank you. Cool. Alright, um. I'm gonna sleep again. Just save some money. Tutor. 
And like I said, it seems to be every Friday. Well, I'm gonna work on my blog, and then Friday rest. Well, actually seems to be rest on that day, so... Huh. Any questions for today? Yeah, how am I doing? Could you take a look for my uh, answers for me? Mm, looks fine to me. You're on the right track. Thank you. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it does stop on this day. If it does, I blog... I really come blog today for real people. If I'm right, then I'll just need to rest on this day. Alright. That looked fine. Alright, check mail. back is a problem. Alright, that was pointless. Alright. Status. Alright, call friends. Adam. Who is this? Me again. Shoots. Sounds good to me. Let's go back to the arcade. We we'll, we still have one. We only have one place left. One thing left. Well, this one's the only one we haven't played. Roy Racer Warriors. I'm leaps into one of the cars without any more engagement. Yeah, let's do this. You seem to have fun with everything. The two of us start up the figos and the race starts. M and I uh, ran neck and neck around the track. He slowly starts to pull ahead, but the trucks take a step towards the car. It's bouncing off a wall. His car spins out of control and crashes into mine. Both cars explode in a, a milling flame pit sills. Did you just... Oops. Maybe we should call it a day. I had fun. I'm glad we came back. Well... That was the last time we're going there ever. Tutor. Um. I think I'm gonna have a study week. And then sleep Friday. Like I have. And see if that still works. Any questions for today? Nope. Yeah, well, besides looking over my home. Looks fine to me. You're on the right track. Thank you. I think I'll sleep again after I check the mail. Okay, I can't message that one. So, since my food, I felt like my fatigue's up, so I'm gonna sleep. I think I'm doing very well, so I'm gonna study. My new goal. We're gonna have a 4G a D. Who cares? I'm just gonna start studying all the time. People aren't important to me. Sean, good to see you. Oh, you too. Where are you heading? To see Professor Meridia. We're going to finish writing the final exams for next week. Oh right. Hey, at least you get a two-week vacation afterwards. I definitely can't complain about that. Anyway, I've got to get going. 
Of course, see you around. Oh, God. Check my hill. Well, that's probably gonna have a lot of time to kill when that happens. Why can't I... Um, my fatigue is fine, so... Adam! Who is this? You know who is. Let's go to the, uh, cafe, I guess. I'll be at your room in a sec. Yo! What you gonna order? <laughs> Wanna split something to eat? Well, we did the chocolate curry last time, so let's do... How could you get a chocolate croissant? Mmm, chocolate. I agree. And butter. I agree. And it sounds really good. I'm gonna get two. <laughs> How's school treating you? Uh, classes are kind of weird. Which classes are you taking? Uh, computers, books, numbers. That series, what you call them? That's what they're about. I don't think he's uh, doing as well as I am. I'm taking a class called Physics of Music. It's actually super cool. Hmm. I'm glad to see you excited about something for once. Yeah, well, I'm actually going to use this stuff. Hmm. So, let's see. Well, that will make my grades go up faster, so let's do that. And then, more work. Sleep in the Friday. And... Why did I do work? I don't know. Study, study. That's fine. I don't care. The stuff Professor Men is teaching right now is really interesting. I wish she'd go in more detail. The is for freshmen. Take one of her upperclassmen courses and she'll go more in depth. The point of touching on it now is to make you curious. She's smart like that. Well, it works. I'm going to have to look up more of this when I get back to my dorm. Oh, a seeker of knowledge. There's hope for the younger generation yet. Ain't you in the same generation? Come on, let me feel mature just this once. Nah. You're a TA. I think that mature enough already. Yeah, my collection of comic books and robot toys might disagree with you there. Ooh. That, along with my special edition Night Errant box sets. I haven't seen it yet, but I'd been meaning to watch it. Really? We should totally have a viewing night. You don't mind seeing it again? His face lights up. Of course not. I've already watched it twice. A third time would be even better. Around us, people glared, and Adam and his decided to burst out. Need a bit of help with this math problem? Oh, right. Some round the table to help his students. I offer him a apology smile across the table and he returns a embarrassing grin. He keeps begging for the rest of the season, but as the other students begin picking up their stuff, he approaches me. So, did you want to watch Night Errant together? Oh. I'm going to secretly go out with you. Sure, that sounds like fun. Glad to hear it. I'm lowers his voice as soon as he realized other people in the library were staring at us. See, you then. See ya. Starting new mouth, the professor sees me. Update. Alright. Miss Good, I'm pleased to inform you that your grades are acceptable to keep your grant. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck in the upcoming month. Thank you. I'm working hard. Yep. Sean, what are you still doing here? You should be home and tucked away in your bed. It's later than I thought. The bus hasn't stopped running by now. I could call Adam and pick me up, but I feel kind of bad asking him to come out late. No, I wish I could give you a ride, but I'm already running late for a flight I have to catch. He sighs. Time for another meeting with the network execs. 
Some things just have to be done in person. He points down to a side hallway. There's a break room in there with some blankets and pillows. We can spend the night in the studio if you want. Are you sure it's okay? Oh, sweetie. The break room is there for precisely this reason. If you're lucky, you'll find a frozen pizza in the fridge. And wave a harsh goodbye. Anyway, I've got a jet. Literally. See you soon. See ya. He stares out the front door and with a quick step... But his show swag in the wind. I hope he gets enough rest. As for free, I'm not sure what to do. Is it really okay to sleep here? I'm going to be the weirdo. The studio isn't far away. It really isn't worth bothering Adam this late. Besides, spending the night here can be a, like a mini adventure. I make my way down the hallway, trying to ignore the over. Overwhelming silence. Going up over a, a horror movie if I want to be, but in care of my footsteps certain does improve the mood. A door at the end of the hallway bears a simple side break room. I grant the hole and give a twist. The door opens and clicks and swings in slightly. Hello? My voice is barely whispering as I call in the dark room to relieve no monster replies. I flick on the light switch and the light flicks on. Oh. Oh. Uh, hi. Throwing across the couch, Elijah's jaws. His feet were kicked up on one of the couch ends, and his arms hang lately edge of the couch. His face is hidden by the hat, but I'm pretty sure he's asleep. John. I approach him quietly and kneel beside the couch. His chest raised and falls on ribbon. He's not so terrible when he's asleep. In fact, he looks almost normal. I poke him gently, but he doesn't respond. Definitely asleep. Now I'm tempted to steal his hat and see what happens. Ooh, do it. Do it. Do it! I lean forward and grab the edge of his hat. Okay, be gentle. I softly s as snore escapes his lips. I sniffle and get... Oh. John! I jerked back and fell on the ground. I thought you were asleep. John lifts his hat enough to peek me under his breath and smirk across the place's face. What on earth gave you that idea? What are you doing here? Same thing as you, I wager. Spending the night. No, I mean, I guess I assume you're going to be a big sudden meeting with Lloyd. My presence is not required. Director business. So why didn't you go home? John sighs and stretches his legs. I'm more than a little exhausted. Thus, driving this mission isn't terribly clever. And what brings you to this humble corner? The bus has stopped running, and I don't want to bother Adam. How considerate. And it's hard to tell from his expression whether he's making fun of me or not. Is there a coat or something in here I can sleep on? His eyes turn mid and grin across his face. You're not that young, are you? What? I there's a lilo in the closet over there, but you can use the sofa. No need, I'll be fine. With a flick remote, John leads his feet and bows with a flow. Now then, my lady, what sort of knight is foolish enough to banish a young wizard to the floor? Before I could progress, he shreds the closet and pulls out the fold air in that mattress. Are you sure about this? He kneels on the floor and approaches the men pup to mattress. I'm already doing it, am I not? I've never seen John look so tired before. His face paler than usual and his eyelids droop widely. But even in his tired situation, he's being polite enough to do this for me. Thank you. He looks puzzled. For what? Nothing. For letting me sleep on the couch. He nods his head and sleeps under the weight. I spy a shrimp bin in the closet. Here. I offered you on a blanket and a pillow before setting a side for myself. His weight pointed at the mattress and before he spins out the blanket. I sat at the edge of the couch watching him and he rid himself for bed. He lies down and turns the head towards me. You plan to keep a vigil over me? Yes. Oh no, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. 
It's my weekly. There's no need to worry on my account. Off to bed with you. Yeah. I curled up on the couch and pulled a blanket over my shoulder. By the way. John Mubber almost under his breath. I shut my eyes and smiled gratefully. Thank you, you too. By the time I woke up next morning, John had already left the mattress, Blakely, and pillow was returned to the closet. I let him slide toast came here with a note. It's all... It's all I could find. Apologies. I finished the toast quickly and read my, my blow to the counter and head to the bus stop. We were in there for now. Okay. How many times do you hit the snooze? Never. Unless if my phone does it on accident. Because I use my phone as my alarm and half the time I'll get up, wake up, and then sometimes the way I turn, I end up hitting my phone and it slides to snooze and I go, and I have to turn off the alarm and turn it back on so it doesn't go off. It's weird. Peace, guys.